Today I was going to show you how to get controller support for Android in Genshin Impact. We're going to be using an app called Mantis Gaming, and you can find that within the Google Play Store. Once you get that downloaded, it's really easy to set up. So here's a quick little setup guide. All right, so when you initially get into this app, you're going to make sure that your Bluetooth is on, of course, for your controller. So you can go in there, go to Bluetooth, make sure that the controller is going to be hooked up. So I'm going to turn this on. And there it is, it's paired, it's in there. Usually for these controllers, you just want to press whatever the, the Bluetooth button is. So in this case, the switch controller is on the top. You hold it down until it starts blinking. And then from there, you'll find it on your phone and get it hooked up that way. Once that's in there, you get into the actual program and it will give you a step-by-step -step guide of how to, in, how to get it set up. So like this first part right here on the device is going to tell you step by step what you need to do since i already did it it's not going to show me but um if it's your first time using it it's really easy to get this all set up and you don't need to jailbreak anything so that's the the best part about it then you come here and you go to add game and you're going to find your game within the list of, of all your apps and stuff i already have genshin hooked up so i just hit on it right there this is the the free version so they're going to make you watch an ad so it's going to play it now after a few seconds, I can go ahead and just skip it, just like on YouTube. Boom. Skip that. Now it's going to load up the game. When the, when the game is loaded up, you can open up the app. So on, uh, on the side, you'll probably have your little widget thing in the middle or something. Um, when you hit on it, it's not going to have any of the, the keybinds that I have set up for myself. So you'll have to click on, I believe it's the plus here. Yes. Then you go to this spot where it says A key. So you could go ahead and press a button. So you go in here, you press the thing. It's gonna wait for you to press a button on your controller. So let's say I press the A key and then boom, you see A popped up right in the center of my screen. Now I can take it and I can drag it around to wherever I want this to be placed. So of course you want the game to load up first before you do this. So let me just load up the game and you can see the outline of all the buttons I already set up on my screen. I'm gonna see if it's possible for me to just like copy my setup and maybe put it into the description. It's possible I'll do it. If not, then yeah, it is what it is. And you'll have to set it up yourself. Okay, now that I'm in the game, it'll be easier to set up the buttons. So I could press on the little widget thing again, and then I can go ahead and press the plus, press the, the, the button. Okay, let's press the A key again. Then I can take it and drag it onto something. So let's say for example, if I wanted to take that and, and use, use the A button to dodge, I'll just drag it over to the, where the dodge button is. Same thing goes with everything else. You see how I put the right thumbstick right here on uh, the middle of nothing because there's nothing there to press. Same thing with pressing like the side button. I put the side bind to grab objects and I put that right there. So I strategically went to a location Let's say where, where I was going to pick up an item and actually go there and test this system out. So, oh, here's, here's a good example right here. Let me go to this guy. You see how the little widget is like right there or it says guy. His literally his name is guy. I just realized that. So you can go into your widget thing, press the plus, add a key, do whatever. And then you drag it onto where it says guy. So you can put it like literally right on top of it if you wanted to. I don't want to mess up my setup, so I'm not going to do it. But it's that simple. And that's it. So you basically set up all your little keys to do whatever you want it to do. Um, like I have it pretty close to what PlayStation is, which is up is to change to the top character. Down is to change to the bottom one. And then left is to change to the middle one. And this flips around uh, with mobile. So it's a little different than the other, like the consoles, I think. But... Um, you'll get used to it after a while. And then there's other things you can do within here. So like you can change the loadout of stuff, which I, I saved a preset here. And then I also uh, show you your game pads, what you have going on. Uh, the, the last tab there uh, shows you some extra options. See, so always, always on buttons. Uh, the opacity, I put it down to the lowest setting so that when you're playing the game, you can't see it. It's almost as if it's not even on. So the opacity, I put it at the lowest possible setting. But yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to set up and it works really well. So then you can be able to just play with the, the controller 
on uh, on Android. It's a million times better than than trying to do this shit on the phone itself because it's such a pain in the ass. Like trying to navigate and do all this on the phone itself is so bad. And on top of that, the phone gets really hot after a while, so it feels like you're just holding on to lava, <laughs> and it's just burning your fingertips. So uh, I definitely don't recommend playing on the on the actual phone. But yeah, this this works really well. It makes it pretty simple to just go around and do the things you normally would do. So yeah, it's badass. Anyway, that's it.